So now, let's take a look at how Start Menu works inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So in order to work with Start Menu and launch it, you can go over here on to the bottom left side where the, there is the Windows icon. So you can simply click on this and the Start Menu appears just like that. So that's one way to access Start Menu and the other way to access Start Menu is by pressing the Windows key over here on the bottom left if you have a Windows specialized keyboard. So just click on the Windows icon. If you're using a Mac, however, and you install Windows onto it using Bootcamp, you can press the command button right there and the uh, and the start menu will pop up right over here. So on the start menu, you can see that on the left side, here are the applications that you can launch. So let's say I want to um, uh, launch the notepad over here, which I can see if I were to click on it, the application launches right over here. So let me just close this out because I do not want to use it right now. And I want to show you something else as well. So once I open up start and actually go down, you can see that some of them are actually folders. So if you want to expand the folders, you can simply click on this little triangle icon right here. Let's just click on it. And here is any desk just like that. So you can see that here. Uh, I can access any desk here. I can access backup and sync. So I can see that I got my Google Docs sheet and slides right here, which is in apps. I can also go over here onto the Mac Sean and you can see that I can, uh, uh, I can launch up different applications just like that by expanding. So these are the regular applications right over here. And on the right side, you can see that there are thumbnails of different applications right over here. So you can see that there's Skype and everything, and you can actually manage this out. So let's say if I want to rearrange everything out, I can click and drag the Skype over here, just like this, click and hold, drag, and rearrange everything out just like this. I can also click and drag this out over here, just like this. And over here at the top, you can see that there's the weather app. So I can actually open that out right over here. But even before I see the weather app option, you can see that the weather actually displays uh, some information right here. So you do not always need to open up the applications which is shown right over there. So that's uh, what you can do with Start Menu. We're going to look at more of these uh, later on in the lesson. On the left side, you can see that there's Start Menu. And if you're using an older uh, Windows update, you can actually have to click on the Start right, uh, right here to expand everything out over here. So you can see that there's Document on the left side. There's Document, Pictures, Settings, and Power. But there's no File Explorer. This one is the File Explorer right here. If I had to click on it, you can see that the File Explorer actually pops up. But let's say I want the File Explorer to be here which is uh, there by default in most of the Windows installations. But if you don't have one in yours, you can actually customize that by going into settings. Let's see some start menu customization settings, which is here. So let me go to settings right here. And in the Windows settings, let's go to personalization right over here. I am going to click on it just like that. There's a lot of options that we can work with, but this is where we want to go to in the start. You can also go to personalization settings by right clicking anywhere on the desktop computer and you can go to personalize right over here. You get the same settings basically. So I'm going to go on over here on to the start and on the start, you can see that you can show more tiles as well. So there are some uh, options that, that you can enable and disable. So if you were to go to the start menu right here, you can see that this is the space that is taking. But if I were to click on show more tiles, it actually expands the space right here for the more tiles to actually be there. So I'm just going to turn this off right here. Uh, you can also show the app list so you can see that the app list is right over here i can turn off the app list uh, right over here as well it turns off the app list just like that you can add in the uh, recently added app so if we were to turn this off you can see that the recently added apps is not there but it was not there anyways if you install a new application it actually lists up right over there just like that if you had to go to most used apps, turn it off. You can see that most used apps is not there anymore. But if I had to turn this on, you'll be able to see that most used apps is here. Similarly, you can work around with other settings as well. And you have use start full screen. And if you were to do this, you can see that it is all full screen right over there. But usually I prefer it like this. And you can uh, simply work around with the side menu options just like this. But that is not what I'm interested in right now. Uh, what I want to do right now is actually keep the file explorer right over here on the start menu. And to do that, you have to go over here on to uh, choose which folders appear on start. So let me just click on it. And over here, you can see by default, the file explorer is turned off. So if I were to turn this on and you go over here, you can see that the file explorer is here just like this. 
it just popped up and if you were to click over here that folder particularly opens out just like that you can access the recent files and everything else just like that so there's the settings so you can turn this off usually i don't want to turn off the settings because i do need to access it quite frequently there's the documents that you can turn that one off over here you can turn the download on and even the music folder on so music actually appears over here as you can see just like that you can turn off everything else turn on the network you get that over here just like this you got the networks so you can turn on everything personal folders and there you go there's the personal folder right over here just like that so you can turn on and off different uh, folders inside of the start menu just like that so that is how you can customize and you can see uh, this is just the basics we are going to go even furthermore in the future lesson so now uh, what I want to do is let's say uh, if you feel tedious to actually scroll down and search for the application that we want to open up you can actually go and type the application right over here on the bottom so I'm going to uh, type in something like word and over here the word actually pops up so you can simply click on word and it opens up Microsoft Word for you just like that so you to search for something like notepad type in note right here notepad actually comes up click it and notepad opens up so that is how you can work around with the start menu inside of microsoft windows 10 so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe